Hi, thanks for tuning in to Penn Central 99. Today I'm going to do a product review on a Viking 187 scale or HO scale uh, forklift. Uh, there's some pretty interesting features with this, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started with the product packaging. As you can see, it comes in a little nice plastic see through case so you can uh, verify the type of product that you're getting. Uh, disregard these numbers that are on the top here. That is the hobby shop's uh, pricing or price tag, so just go ahead and disregard those. But as you can see here, it's got a nice little plastic case. Uh, this little plastic line that you see here is actually a nice feature on the packaging. What that is, is that's flexible. Uh, because when they package and ship these products, they don't want to apply too much pressure to them and end up causing damage. That way you get a damaged product. So the manufacturer, which is Viking, has uh, put in this little uh, flexible piece of plastic. So the pressure on the item depends on the size and the type of the product. So it fits securely and snugly in there, but not too overly tight to cause damage. On the side of the box here. Uh, you can see here the product number for Viking. You can see here this is a still R70-25. That is the actual uh, prototype manufacturer which is located in Germany. Uh, the 25 indicates the uh, not only the model but the weight that it can lift. That 25 represents 2500 kilograms uh, that it can lift which in uh, American or standard uh, weights and measures is about 5,500 pounds or two and a half tons. On the back it just gives a little history on the uh, the Viking manufacturer. Not to be confused with the actual prototype which is uh, the still. Okay in opening the package all we got to do is uh, pull out this little plastic tab here, open up the sides, and the item will slide right out. But what you want to do is uh, just be careful, pull that out of there, set it down. Some of the nice features that I notice on the models, if you notice here, the wheels spin, but they do not turn. Um, on the actual prototype, the back wheels here are the steering wheels and the front ones stay straight, but they do spin, so you do get a little bit of realism there on that. Uh, the seat, the steering wheel are prototypical. Um, I did some research on the internet as far as the manufacturer. Um, they have upgraded this model, but for the most part everything is prototypical. With the exception on the back here, on the real model they actually have uh, the muffler and the exhaust, but they didn't model that on, on this particular feature. Uh, some of the other nice things, the forks actually move up and down. You just need to be careful, a little bit gentle with that. Uh, so you can see me moving the forks up and down. Also that pivots forward and back. So you do get some realism here on this. So for the most part it's a pretty nice model. It's uh, modeled pretty well after the prototype and everything seems to be pretty good. So overall I'm pretty satisfied. I think it's real prototypical with the exception of maybe the muffler. And as you can see here I've taken this uh, 187 scale forklift and sat it next to one of my uh, 187 scale trucks. And you can see it's pretty prototypical. The size and the features do match so this will go pretty well on my layout with, especially with the industries that I'm modeling. Well that pretty much does it for this product review. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the video. I know that most layouts, depending on the type of industry that you have, can always use a forklift or whatever. So, once again, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching.